Hey YouTube, in today's video, I'm going to be making a really affordable racing sim. Now, the steering wheel I bought does not have force feedback. I didn't realize that until I bought it, but you know, the wheel is still under 200 bucks. So this, this still technically works, but if you want a different wheel, I'll link one in the description. Everything in this video will be linked in the description besides the monitor, I think. All the links will be affiliate links. You need to help me out if you guys, you know, buy something up there, but you don't, you don't gotta... For this video, we got the Xbox One. Don't know about if we're ever gonna get the Series S or not, but you know, we got this joint ski, so let's hop into it. Now, the Xbox One is actually not bad at all for its price, which I can actually get a Series S for the same price, but you know. We're also using this Xbox One because it has one terabyte of storage, and I don't know if you guys know this, but Forza costs a lot of storage. Now, for our monitor, it's the one from last video. Got this thing for like 100 bucks or so. It's really good, 60 hertz, 1080p. I can't find this on Amazon or anything, so I can't really put links or anything. If you wanna buy anything, use the affiliate links down below. Who said that, Casper? Not gonna lie, I think my Xbox just broke. Oh no, it still turns on. Casper knocked it over too. Don't tell my mommy that I dropped this. Really freaking good monitor. They say I didn't break it though. This is our steering wheel. It's the Thrustmaster Ferrari 458 Spider Racing Wheel. It's like 150 bucks. It sucks. I'm I'm gonna be completely honest, but it's affordable, and that's all we care about. <laughs> doesn't have any vibration. Doesn't have nothing. So the Xbox didn't break. This thing I'll put in the description. Also, I'm also gonna put in a better one because I feel like you guys should get the best thing that's around the same price point. I'm not gonna make it super expensive, like a more expensive wheel. I'm gonna keep it the same price point, basically. Also, coming in with the wheels is these pedals. They have like a lot of force before you can press them down. That's why they slide a lot. The brake pedal especially, bro. I, I can't even do it with one hand. You can call me weak down in the comments if you want. <laughs> it's kind of short, but I do like these pedals a lot. And you can change the arrangement of them. I do kind of like the feel of these. I don't like that they slide. They have, the, they have these rubber feet on the back. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys, they don't really do anything. I bet they would on hard surface, but on carpet, no. It comes with this ethernet looking type of cable to plug into the back of the wheel. If you want to change the sensitivity on the wheel, it's both the paddles Y and B at the same time. We're gonna use a controller for this video. The controller is a PDP digital glitch green. I love this controller. Not gonna lie, you might be better off racing with this controller than you might be with the wheel. But I feel like Thrustmaster has good wheels and stuff. They just need to make it a little better. This thing's been out for 13 years too and they haven't even fixed it one time. Headphones, we've got these JBLs. They're tough, not gonna lie. They have good sound quality, they're noise canceling, and they're kind of, they're nice. I got these for my birthday this year, all the way back in December, and I kind of love these things. So without further ado, let's hop into some Forza. I like third person, ah! I haven't driven in a minute um, because I've been gone for a week, so usually I use this like every night before I go to bed. I'm a little rusty. We're in a 4 GT right now. I'm still getting used to the wheel, kinda. So we're racing on novice. It's okay. We'll we'll we'll, we'll catch up. No, we won't. No, we won't. No, we won't. Dude, it's just not turning. Never mind. We are not doing a race. We. We're just gonna drive around. Usually I can do it, but like right now it's just like over, it's like under steering and then when I don't want it to, like, then when I don't want it to oversteer, it oversteers. So like, it's really unpredictable. There's no vibration, there's nothing. So it's literally like, you don't know how to turn or anything, bro. It's like turning on its own and it's kind of making me angry. And then I go like that, it's not turning. But when I turn, if I go left, it just turns all the way for some reason. So I don't think my wheels like calibrated right, bro. See, I'm like fully turned like all the way and it just doesn't want to go. And it's making me a little angry. This was it might also just be this car, not gonna lie. Cause this car is like super bad at turning. 
And it's turning on its own again, bro. Give me eight years, bro. And... This G four GT is like so bad. Okay, the video's over. That was the most affordable racing sim. I'm not gonna lie, I'm returning that wheel. We're gonna get a different one off of Amazon. I'll link a better one in the description for around the same price. If it's 200 bucks, I'm sorry. This was the most affordable racing sim. If you guys want more videos like this, let me know in the comments down below because I'll invest some more money into it. And yeah, I'm also trying to reach 200 subs, so make sure to subscribe. So I hope you all have a fantastic day. Goodbye.